If your vehicle is equipped with an automated transmission, you will have a column mounted shifter for driver convenience. Notice, the location of the column mounted shifter allows you to comfortably place your hands at the ideal position, 10 and 2. It also frees up space on the center console. To control the transmission, simply twist the column mounted shifter to set the vehicle in drive, neutral, or reverse. You'll also see the transmission gear displayed in the driver performance center. You can select an upshift or downshift while in drive or reverse. The stock control is pushed away from the steering wheel to request a downshift and pulled toward the steering wheel to request an upshift. This is useful to request alternative gear selection for temporary use. After a period of time without input from you, the transmission will eventually shift in order to return to the optimized gear selection. Manual mode is available when you want to select the shifts instead of letting the transmission select them automatically. To enable manual mode, press the button on the end. The letter M will appear in the driver performance center. While in manual mode, you may receive a driver shift aid notification that prompts you to shift up or down. This is the system's way of telling you that you will receive optimal performance from the vehicle if you change your current gear setting to the recommended setting. And if the engine is approaching a higher than normal RPM level, the transmission system will override the manual position and perform an upshift. Low mode can be used anytime you want to use the lowest gear and minimize the use of brake pedal, when driving on long grades or when coming to a stop. When you enter low mode, you'll see the letter L displayed in the driver performance center. Low mode is activated by holding the stock in the shift down position for an extended duration. To exit this mode, pull the stock up for an upshift. This is also where your engine brake controls are located. The engine brake can be utilized to induce downshifts and help slow the truck on long, steep descents to increase brake pad life. Varying levels of engine brake depend on the application level you desire. The top position is off. Continue to press down for increased braking power, level 1, 2, and 3. The lowest point on the stock is max engine brake mode to increase engine speed for full retarding. You can deactivate max mode in three ways. Select a new engine brake setting, tap the throttle, or when the vehicle reaches its program coast out gear. The corresponding engine brake setting is also displayed in the driver performance center.